Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 8th PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And today we're just going to do a uh, uh, some chart overviews and show you how to insert charts into your PowerPoints. So there's a couple different options, but if you're creating a chart from scratch in PowerPoint and you don't already have a chart created, uh, if, you have a, if you have a slide here, um, you have a blank slide where you have the uh, insert options here, uh, such as insert table, insert chart. We're going to go ahead and do an insert chart or you could go up here under the menu and do insert and go to chart but we're going to do it through this insert chart and then you get a whole list of options here right column charts, line charts, pie charts and you'll notice uh, let me just click a fairly simple column chart. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click OK or double click it. This assumes that you have 2007 on your on your um, sorry you have Excel 2007 on your computer so if you don't uh, another Microsoft uh, tool should come up but most most folks should have a uh, Excel 2007 with PowerPoint 2007 so you notice it provides a pre-formatted template here so we could go over here and say um, you know we could change the we could go in here and change this to say series A, series B, and series C, and it just fills fills in a fills in these options. So so you put the your own numbers in here, right? Whatever they may be, and then if you wanted to add more categories, you could do that. And it'll tell you how to resize it and so forth. But we're going to leave it like this for right now. And what you'll notice, I'm going to go back into PowerPoint, and it automatically created that chart for me. You notice I changed uh, the legend over here to be Series A, Series B, and Series C rather than 1, 2, and 3. You could change these over here on the spreadsheet, uh, you know, by changing categories, changing the names here. So whatever whatever fits your, um, whatever your, whatever you need to do, you can modify it. So if you don't like your chart, you can go back in and you can go back to, um, we're, we're going to go ahead and, and back out of that. Let's just do a pie chart real quick, just to show you how the spreadsheet comes up different every time. So I'm just going to do a basic pie chart. And now you notice it just gave me one uh, row of data here. You can't, pie charts are really not very good for um, things that bar charts might be good for, for displaying. So anyways, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and just leave these as is right now, and, and this is first through fourth quarter of sales. Go back in here and you see it has a title, and it has the pie chart, and it has the quarters over here. So what you can do now is you can clean this up and edit it. So you'll notice under chart tool, when you go under design, you'll have chart tools, and you have design options, right? You can go here, you can edit the data. All right, you can do that. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do that right now. And then you can select the data, so you can change the change the um, you know the range of data that you're choosing from. And you can go over here and you can change your chart styles. All right, there's lots of options. Some of them just um, went off the screen here, but you get the idea. You can scroll through and choose lots and lots of different options here. Okay, so I'm gonna change it a little bit. And then we might want to change. Uh, a couple other things, right? The pie chart's just blank right now, so we might want to go to layout, and we might want to do a couple things. We might want to add data labels, and we will go ahead and say center them. So there, put them in the center. And then we might want to try inside end. We might want to try best fit. So you can do any number of things with that. The other thing you can do is if you go back to design and go to edit data, let's assume I wanted dollar symbols in front of it. I could go here, highlight my cells in my spreadsheet and change that to currency and click OK and now you'll notice that it put the dollar value in there. So some other things that you can do here going back to layout is you can go into the legend right Right now it's at the right you could put it at the top, you could put it at the bottom, you could put it uh, you know move it around there's lots and lots of options right so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it at the right again uh, if you wanted to change the title of the legend you just go back to the to the spreadsheet and edit that and it will automatically update chart title 
Uh, right now we have above chart. If we want to get rid of it, it's gone. By the way, the chart title is the title of the chart, not the title of the slide. So let me go ahead and put that back on. So I'm going to go ahead and do above chart the way we had it before. Okay. So any number of charts you can do here. This is the best way to do it when you're going from scratch and you just need to create a simple chart. Otherwise, what you may want to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to do a new slide. And I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to wipe this out here. I'm going to highlight that whole box and delete it. So now, what if I had a chart already and it was complicated and it came from lots and lots of Excel data? What I could do is just copy and paste the chart right into PowerPoint and then clean it up from there. So I've got a Gantt chart that I did in a previous tutorial here. And let's assume I want to copy this. I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to go back into here and I'm just going to right click and say paste. And there I've got my chart. And now I can, I can edit it however I see fit. I can still go to design options. I can do any number of uh, things to the chart still. So these are just some things, uh, you know, some basics. Oh, the last thing I forgot is format. You can go over here to format and you can have different fills. You can do, use different, uh, different, uh, you know, outlines or fill. Uh, let me, I'll leave that like that. You can go to different styles of your text, right? You can go to quick styles and, and you can see what will happen there right it'll automatically change it for you I know that's kinda of small so anyway so that's all I really wanted to share with you today thanks for joining and please subscribe and if you have any questions or want to see anything else on charts just let me know thanks